Hey, it's Jim. It's uh, Monday, January the 8th evening. Just uh, got the uh, limiter cap removal tool from Echo for the uh, 7310s. Um, I'll just show you how it works. I, I didn't see anything on it to start with here, so i um, going to get you a video. <clears throat> Basically... The shaft on this thing is threaded on the outside and um, that's going to allow you to uh, screw it into the limiter cap that's inside the carb here and um, <clears throat> it's hollow. I know this probably isn't going to show up that good. Um, anyway, it's, it's a hollow tube so that allows it to go over top of the uh, head of the uh, jet. And um, like I was saying before, I mean, they've m machined or ground so much off these that uh, it's super easy to to break them. Um, that uh, little top there where they've uh, ground it out so much, it just, uh, that's where they snap, so. <clears throat> the tool is about 50 bucks up here in Canada. <clears throat> Each one of these little jets is uh, around 30 or so now. So, uh, um, for me, it definitely makes sense to have this and uh, use it. And uh, it's one of the guys in the States here that uh, recommended it. Uh, I was kind of chatting with him the other day, so appreciate that, and um, yeah, anyway, so I'll uh, just show you kind of how it works here in a sec, okay, take care, oh, and um, <clears throat> if you're in uh, California, uh, you need to go out of state to use this, because apparently it'll cause cancer if you're in California, so don't use these there. All right, have a good one. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> got the tool in there, just uh, screwing it in. Uh, you wanna be real careful that you don't uh, put too much pressure on that uh, keeper for the cable on the other side there so you don't bust that off. But uh, it does feel like it needs a fair bit of pressure to uh, get that to go in. Right, so it engages on there, I think. And then uh, we'll see what happens here. Just gonna pause you guys. Okay, so you'll feel it kind of bottom out in there. And once it's done that, then I just ended up pulling on it up and it just uh, popped it right over top, so. Uh, I'll try the try the remaining one and uh, see if I can show you how that works. So, but, um, yeah, anyways, it it brings the whole thing out intact and uh, pulls it right over the jet without uh, breaking the tip off of it. I know you guys aren't going to be able to see that. I'll try with the well. Anyway, yeah, so it pulls it right over the end of the jet and um like i was saying like they've cut so much off these things that there's just about nothing left to it so or of it so i, I found the other ones they just snap right here where it's yeah there's just nothing to it eh? so that's uh <clears throat> i think a good investment uh buying the tool especially if a guy's going to be doing very many of these uh i think up here they ding me about 30 bucks per jet and uh i bought both of them <clears throat> um, that other time so anyways uh yeah we'll get that over. okay so just uh used a set of lineman pliers to Pull the old jet off, just uh, backed it off. Go for number two here. Feels like when it 
starts to engage, you got to be pretty firm with it to actually get it in there. But um, there, there are threads <clears throat> on those caps. Yeah, there's the second one. So yeah, definitely uh, a lot less risk, it seems like, of uh, damaging those jet screws. So I definitely would recommend this. Okay, have a good night. Um, what else? Yeah, catch you later.